What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Bass. Y'all tuned in to another episode of Ends Podcast. This episode, man, we're going to be talking about how you can take your semi-pro career and turn that into a profitable, independent, athletic career, man. So we're going to break this down into three different ways that semi-pro athletes can start making money off their own efforts and also off the brand that they're building. Tune in to the next episode. You are here with Ends Podcast. This is your boy Bass. Now let's get this episode started. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Bass, man. And y'all tuned in to another episode of Ends Podcast, man. So we're going to be breaking down how semi-pro athletes can start their own independent movement and start generating profits from their, you know, just from their success on and off the field, man, and just all the hard work that they've been putting into it, man. So for me, man, like semi-pro athletes, man, that's really like for the love of the game, man. Like you ain't, you know, like semi-pro athletes ain't making, you know, like NFL, NBA contract money or nothing like that. Uh, Some of them get paid. Some of them don't even get paid. You know, they just playing for like, you know, the love of the game and just for that competition, um, but going into all that, um, with the rise of social media, you feel me, the internet, you feel me, influencer marketing, there's so many different ways that now athletes can make money even independently. And it has been proven, um, as you see, uh, Giovanni, um, I want to say it was Giovanni Ruffin, you know, like a few athletes, they was able to, uh, create established brands, uh, create products, all type of stuff and make money off of their on the field or on the court or, you know, uh, success or just, you know, contributions. So one of the first ways I'm gonna go into like the, like one of the most simplest first ways that like a lot of semi-pro athletes can make money off of their, um, you know, just off of their abilities is, you know, through, um, you know, video streaming. A lot of times what we forget is, you know, you know, video content, you, you see all this YouTube and stuff like that. Even though YouTube do got a requirement, you got to have a certain amount of views. That's why like, like, you know, it's, it's a grind to shine type deal. You feel me? But if you playing some my pro anyway, you already understand that. So you're doing it for the love. So you're not really, you know, expecting that immediate return. But your long-term efforts and just the pressure that you be applying can make you some money. So when we talk about like video streaming and stuff like that um, and making money that way, it's basically like setting up like a YouTube account. Um, YouTube got a requirement now that you got to have so many views. Once you set up that YouTube account, then once you get them views up, which you got to build the YouTube account, you feel me posting your workout videos, training videos, um, highlight film, you feel me? And just... You feel me? Just just building a brand around yourself uh, visually through like, you know, video, you know, YouTube. And that's a big market for you to do that. You know, every day people watching highlights, people watching workout videos, trying to discover new workouts, trying to see, you know, like, you feel me? Like, just see different ways of people is like, you know, just pushing themselves to get ahead. Like, like how you get into the grind, you feel me? Um, and that way, that can help lead you uh, to the second route. But I'm going to finish up on the third route before I go to the second route. So then you can see also as well. Um, but just going back into that, it's a, all these different routes, you got to make an investment. But you already making that investment. You going to practice. You taking time out your day. You, you, you feel me? You shifting your schedule. You feel me? You probably working another job and some more stuff. You feel me? So it's like you already making that initial investment to the game. So like, like, um, Mob Deep said, like, ain't no such thing as being halfway crook. So if you're going to make, you know, that investment, you might as well make the full investment and get a return off your investment. You can get the full sense of happiness knowing that, like, hey, you built your career. You feel me? The NFL didn't make you, the NBA, the Major League Baseball, Soccer League. Like, you feel me? The Pro League didn't make you. The work, the grind, the sweat, the tears, the blood you shed on that field, on that court, that's what made you. You feel me? Like your effort, your effort is what made you. You feel me? So I feel like long term you will get a you know a real good gratification over that. But 
just just talking about just using YouTube as a tool for you to um basically build that brand and start uh turning some revenue is basically like um as you will see it was a um like a few athletes uh had did that and they ended up getting um pro shots as well just from doing that but they was posting like creating like motivational workout videos and that's what we mean by building a brand um like creating motivational workout videos showing them working out basically how they get to it like basically what they doing um when they're not playing in the game like how they preparing for the game and people start to tune in and follow that and then that can help you connect with other brands as well because they see you working out they can see you representing um like you know and that helps you build like an influence for yourself you start to come into a uh influence marketer but basically that's basically all endorsement deals is they paying you to represent their brand but in the marketing world there's ways that you can do that but there's no upfront money. They're not going to put no money up to help market you, to help push their brand um, or pay you. But you just make um, a percentage off the sales. So then that goes into the number three. Now, I said the number three. <laughs> the number two, man. The number two is uh, becoming a brand ambassador and affiliate marketing, utilizing your social media platforms. Uh, YouTube being one, YouTube giving you that, uh, you know, just give you that platform to create the visual content, but also Facebook. Don't forget about Facebook. Facebook is the number one, like engaging, like social media platform. Uh, so don't never forget about Facebook. All the video that you make for YouTube can go straight to Facebook. It's just that YouTube pay you, uh, for running ads in your videos. Facebook don't do that yet. But then that leads into the number two. The number two is uh, creating like an affiliate, um, basically becoming like an affiliate marketing. Um, so different companies, brands. So think about it. When you're working out, right, you're using protein shakes, you're using, um, you're using pre-workouts, man, from the workout uh, equipment that you're using, from the stretching bands to, man, everything that you use when you're playing sports, even from the way you dress, from the wristbands to the spat tape, all the way down to the cleats, everything that you're wearing, there's a company that has an affiliate program that basically pay you commission for pushing and generating sales or leads to that company. So you probably think like, like, so how do I do that? Like, how do I find out about that? Just search online affiliate marketing programs for athletes. Then you will find like, so say like, for example, um, Amazon, Amazon affiliates, Amazon have a affiliate program, right? Where if you become an Amazon affiliate, you can basically sell any Amazon product and make a commission off of it. They just give you like a special link that you just add that link to like, say like you could create like your own little shopping list that's in your affiliate, you know, you, you know, using your affiliate link and then people could just see like, oh shit, well, this is that workout band he was using or what's that, uh, what's that workout mask he was using or, or, uh, them cleats he had was hard. Like what type of, you know, like where can I find those at? Then you could just, you know, just drop like a little link. Like, hey, and if you're looking for this, you're looking for that. You could go find this. You could go find that. Um, shop for, you know, like Oakley Visor, you know, customized Oakley Visors from such and such, such and such. Um, shout out to such and such, such and such for my uh, Oakley Visor. It's a link in the description of, or below if you're looking to try to get one. Shout out to such and such, such and such for these customized gloves or or, you know, I got the brand new Elites or something like that. Like, I got these for the low as such and such, such and such. Like, that's a way that you can start making the money and dropping that link in the description or creating your own. Like, some people go as far as even creating their own websites. And then that's the, the number two is affiliate marketing and brand ambassador. Utilizing your social media presence. But, you got, but in order to utilize your social media presence, you have to build one. And then finding affiliate programs that represent you and your brand, no matter what it is you're doing on and off the field. Because once you start building that social media presence, uh, people going to start looking to you as an influence. So it's like what they see you doing, you know, it starts to become a little bit impressionable. Um, if they see you always got customized, you know, half sleeves or something, you playing with customized sleeves or, or this or that, they're going to be like, damn, where you find that at? Like, them cleats hard or that's or them half sleeves hard or that visor cold 
uh, where you not finding that face mask at? Oh, I ordered this face mask off of such and such, such and such. Here's the link. <clears throat> but that link, you know, with these affiliate programs, they give you a special link. So when they go on there and they find one, they buy one, you making money off of each purchase. So the more you actively, you know, just doing your thing, you, you feel me? Like, so say if it's visors, for example, every time you feel me, you got your workout. I mean, like your, you doing your drill field work, workouts. You always got your helmet on, your visor on. Why? Why are you working out? You feel me? Like doing like certain parts of it or something like that. Or like they just see you in the game, you know, pregame or something like that. Or you just taking photos and stuff before the games or in practice with your visor on. They'd be like, damn, that visor hard. Yeah, I got this visor from such and such, such and such. You feel me? And then it started becoming, you make money off of just doing that. But in order to do that, it still starts with number one. You got to make that initial investment to build that brand. And that's going to take time. And some people already got that brand just due to them, um, you know, just due to people already know you as being an athlete. Some of y'all been playing ball since y'all was in Little League and still into semi-pro. So people know you as a football player or a basketball player, baseball player, soc- uh, soccer player hockey they know y'all as like a uh you know like as an athlete so then they, of course they're gonna take your recommendation they're gonna start asking you for so then now it start leading in to number three which is uh building your own platform your own um platform and brand where you can make money selling like your own service or product now this turning you into a whole entrepreneur but this is a way where like now it starts to become literally you playing sports is making your income now but like i say all this take time you know and it takes investment like you got to be willing to be fully invested into what you're doing your craft your sport um so now the number three will be building your own basically going the entrepreneur route starting your own brand but monetizing it uh even more so now you already pushing other people brands and stuff like that um, you building networking, you understanding, uh, you know, basically you just understanding the business aspect of it. Now it's time to make the, the ultimate big investment of, around that building your own platform and providing either a service or service and products. So think about it. If everybody tuning in, you getting views, everybody watching your workout videos and all that type of stuff, they getting inspired. Shoot. You can create your own website to start your own workout groups. You feel me? Your own customized coaching sessions. That's one way. But then, you know, but you want to grow that and you got the video content to help you push that. You got the social media presence. So basically, like, you took care of the first two steps getting into that part with marketing-wise and building the brand. Now we're just building that infrastructure and that solid foundation of independence. So what I mean by that is like, so basically once you build that service, it's having a you housing that service like in-house, like having your own website, you feel me? Having your own logo. Um, yeah, you, you feel me? Go on, go on that whole route. Um, starting the LLC. Uh, so then that way that your business and brand can be protected and it's not like you personally assuming all the liability and risk. See, because that's one of the benefits of, um, you know, just being independent. Uh, You can do it as a business. And and then now you're starting to think in that business uh, type mindset because that's what the whole thing about being a pro is. It's like business, too. Um, So now you can start selling services. Um, Then say, like, for example, um, you do like meal preps or you start making like your own product. Uh, which can be anything from wristbands to t-shirts, shirts, merchandise. Um, it could be workout uh, products, uh, like your own branded workout products and all type of stuff. Um, but just start thinking in that route. Because now now that you've been pushing, like, say, like, for example, um, like compression shirts or something like that. The shirts you always working out in. You've been pushing all these other brands. You've been pushing your team brand and all that type of stuff. But then in some videos, you can also have your own brand that can have a deeper meaning behind it. So then now, you know, it's more relatable. So now they, it's not like they're going to buy it just because it's a team. They buying it just because of what it stands for. So you turn it into a business. Um, or it can even be like uh, you either get in connection because now you're doing all this affiliate marketing. Um, you start to find out like, damn, I can go buy 
buy this to go make that, uh, like far as like supplements or something like that, or like you find out like a way to go buy like a um, make uh you know like just find a company that let you like sell your own supplements, or like you just start like an online supplement store. You feel me? Cause like if people are already going to you, and what I mean by supplements is like protein shakes, pre workouts, you know stuff like that. So if people go into GNC, how you, you know, like basically you'll be like your Michael Jordan of your own GNC. I'm just using that as an example as 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 how it applies. Because you actively working now, you actively being on social media, you're capable of pushing your product now. And your product could just be the actual store, like an online store where it's basically like, all right, well, I got, I'm got. i an affiliate of this store. I mean, you know, like all these different brands. All right, boom. So I'm going to start my own store. I'm going to just, the products that I like using that I currently already buy, I'm going to just buy a couple extra <laughs> or something like that. You can set up your own way of doing that. We could, you know, talk about that in a whole nother podcast. There's different ways of doing that, drop shipping and all type of ways. Um, but basically, it's like you already buying stuff for yourself. You feel me? So it's like you could create a store where like, all right, well, you could come back to my store to go buy it. You don't necessarily got to go to this store because of me being an affiliate or something like that. Or I'm or or like I buy it all the time. I'm getting like a crazy. Di- I'm, I mean, I won't say like a crazy discount, but you probably get like a discount or something like 30, 40 percent off. So now you can sell it back, you know, retail price because and then you make your margins. You feel me? And then you make your money off the top. But then it's like now you're not really solely just depending on selling a product because you're making money off of your video streams. Excuse me. You're making money off of pushing other products. And then your business can be layered in multiple ways. You feel me? So think about it like this, uh, like bass performances, right? Bass performances. And then the basically like the, the athlete that's helping push that is, you know, bass. But then bass performances, what well, we got training sessions, uh, shop at our online store, you know, buy our online merchandise. You got three things that you can sell now. And when I say shop at our online store, I mean like, you know, like online, like, um, like our, like supplement store, like online supplement store and then our merchandise store. And then you could probably even have like video show, you know, basically recycle the content that you've been using on Facebook, all the videos that you've been creating, you know, then go back and then, Build that because now you also building platforms too, which you were talking about sharing like you know like talking about sharing like brands and stuff like that. Now companies and stuff like that will start paying you, businesses will start paying you. Like oh snaps, come work out at our gym, come do you, you feel me? Like come do certain things like that. Like oh come work out with me or 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 let me um come train with y'all one time uh you know or or just certain things like that like you start building those type of connections which also starts to become profitable Uh, and then since you got this business it starts falling into the business you know and it starts falling full circle but like i always say man i ain't gonna try to talk y'all ear off man we just having a conversation but right now just me talking so hope you was listening and i hope a lot of this kind of made sense you could take some of these terms as far as like affiliate marketing, uh, building your brand, uh, YouTube monetization, uh, basically running ads on your YouTube account, how to build a YouTube account. Um, then also start looking at affiliate marketing and then start basically looking at how to build a brand. And if you need help with any of this, a lot of this information we also provide, you feel me? that can help you like basically help provide, you know, like what is affiliate marketing? You know, what is branding? You know, what is what is streaming? Like how you make money off of streaming? You know, stuff like that. And then we also provide services that can help, you know, with logo designs. But we ain't really, uh, we ain't really trying to sell all that. But if, if you just need information about that, um, information and services, we got some links in the description below. Really, I want you to kind of just exercise the effort that you already been putting, but just, like knocking that fear of the unknown, like, oh, I don't know about this, or I ain't got the money for that. Uh, woo, woo, woo. It's like, ends is making the most out of your current situation. It's like finding a way to make it work because you find a way to still play the game you love, right? So apply that same energy. Be relentless. You feel me? Be determined and put forth the effort. 
And no matter what, you feel me? Like, your performance is is going to show if you do that. You feel me? So, it's your boy Baz. Y'all tuned in to another episode of uh, Ian's Podcast, man. If y'all like the jewels that we was dropping, go ahead, like, share, subscribe, comment as well, man. Leave us a voice message, man. It's, it's a link in the description for you to be able to leave a voice message. We want to hear from y'all, probably even feature y'all on the next episode, man, and just answer y'all questions. Holla at your boy. It's Baz, Ian's Podcast, and we out.